Hey guys, it's Travis Elliott, and welcome to Yin Yoga Full Body Stretch. This class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get unlimited access to all of my programs, series, and classes. If you're a fan of Yin Yoga, you'll love my program, Flexibility and Beyond, and also the Yin Yoga Sleep Well series. If you're interested in starting your 10-day free trial, I'll drop a link down below. Also remember to hit that subscribe button. And now let's go ahead and come into a sweet yin flow. All right, let's go ahead and get started in our first yin pose in this full body deep stretch by coming all the way down onto our bellies. As you get down onto your belly, you'll take your right arm and extend it over to the right. And then you're going to bend your left foot in towards your left hip. And then you're going to begin to flip yourself over so that the left foot comes flat onto the ground. And you have the right side of your head down onto the floor. So essentially looking for that deep stretch where your inner chest and your inner shoulder comes together. Feel free to leave your left hand as is. Some people like to take it even deeper and bring it around behind the lower back. Some people even like to slide the fingers underneath that, that right waist or the right ribs there. So if that feels good for you, certainly an option. Now the intention within this particular class is one just on a yin level to hold these positions and poses anywhere from two to five minutes. Sometimes maybe even a little bit shorter and even a little bit longer. And that'll help us to get into lubricating and hydrating the deeper fascial tissues of the body, the deeper connective tissues. And also that we move throughout the whole entire landscape of the body. So every major area in the body does get touched and does get exposed. Give yourself the permission that you need to slow down, to slow the breath down, slow the body down, slow the mind down. For these 45 minutes to enjoy, indulge within a well deserved break and retreat from the busyness of your life, if you step away from all roles and responsibilities. And really, your only responsibility within this class, this practice. Is to just let go let be to allow this yin medicine to do what it knows how to do. Your left hand, left arm is in a wrap. Go ahead and release the left hand back down. And nice and easily begin to come back down onto your belly, your stomach. And then we'll come into a sphinx pose. So slide the elbows forward. So the elbows are right underneath the shoulders. Forearms parallel to each other. Toes extended, stretch it back. The Sphinx Pose is a great yin posture for the upper spine. Let's also make sure that we get into the neck. So drop the chin down towards the chest. Slowly draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. Same thing slowly to the other side. And then just on your own, you can allow your head to pendulum few times side to side, just moving nice and slow. One of the original founders of this modality of yin yoga, Pali Zinc, used to say 
that if you want to move like the Tao, then you have to move like a cow. Cows are slow, but also incredibly, incredibly peaceful. So no hurries, no worries. We slow things down. All worries, stress, anxiety, dissipating and fading away. And underneath the turmoil of all that hustle and bustle is that beautiful, sweet undercurrent of peace, of serenity. Bring the head back to neutral, back to sphinx. You can stay here, or if you'd like a deeper, deeper stretch, seal pose. Open the hands out towards the corners of the mat. Turn the fingertips out a little bit. And then you can press down into the hands, drawing the chest, the heart up, like a soft version of an upward dog. Just make sure that you're not allowing the shoulders to hike up around the ears, which would create tension in the neck, but allow the shoulders to soften back and down. So your neck is elegant, long, and relaxed. And if it feels right, whether you're in Sphinx or Seal Pose, you can close the eyes here as well. Take a last couple of breaths there. And if you're in seal pose, gently release the elbows back down towards the mat. Stack the hands on top of each other, open the elbows out. Take a few moments to rest your forehead right on top of your hands as if your hands were a soft pillow. And you could just gently release and yield to gravity, allowing your whole entire body to simply be held by the ground. For a lot of us, we may have the responsibility of supporting and holding other people up, whether that's a child, a family member, a friend, a coworker. And we're just giving and giving and giving so important to take that time to slow down and to give back to ourselves within a practice like this of yin to replenish and to fill up our energetic cup so that we have more to give because we all know we can't give what we don't have to give go ahead and take your left arm extend that over to the left Start to bend your right heel in towards your right hip. And then we'll flip over. So right foot down to the mat. Finding that stretch into that inner left chest, inner left shoulder. Right hand can stay as is, or you can reach that right hand around behind your back. Maybe even slide the fingers underneath your left waist there. This is a little bit of a shorter, shorter hold, about maybe 90 seconds or so, a minute and a half.
few more breaths there. And if your right arm is in the wrap, nice and easily release that back down in front of your face. Taking your time, slowly ease your way out, coming back onto the belly. Slide the left hand back in towards the chest. And then gently push yourself all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position. Bring the knees underneath the hips, rotate the fingertips back towards the knees and the thighs. This movement is for limbering up the wrist and the inner forearm. So inhale, drop the belly, extend the heart forward and out. And then on the exhale, round the back, curl the chin in. Try that on your own a few more times. Want to move like the Tao, move slow like a cow. Cows in India are considered to be sattvic animals, so peaceful, peaceful, calm, illuminated animals. Take the fingertips, turn those back towards the front here, and then we'll bring the knees forward about maybe three quarters or so of the mat. You'll open the knees out and you'll bring your big toes together, setting up for what we call saddle pose. And saddle pose is an amazing yin pose that gets into a deep stretch within a lot of terrain of a body. So the big toes are together, knees are opened out. Start off nice and easily just by coming back onto the hands. And for some of you, this may be plenty. Others of you, you may want to get a bolster. You could get a couple of pillows if you don't have a bolster. And you could bring that onto the floor behind you and start to recline back onto that bolster. Other options include coming back onto the forearms. For some of you, you may even want to come all the way down onto your back here. And I like to cactus the arms so the elbows are bent about 45 to 90 degrees or so, palms open to the sky. Saddle pose allows us to find a deep stretch through the tops of the feet, the knees, the thighs, and even the fascia around the lower back and the sacrum area. So make sure that you find the place within the pose, the variation that's not too intense and it's something that you can hold and sustain for those three minutes or so. Feel free to close the eyes and just be with that repetition and that rhythm of the breath entrancing you deeper and deeper, not just into the body but also deeper and deeper into the mind. Thank you. 
put you guys taking your time no rush start to exit out of the variation that you chose eventually coming all the way back back up and then from here nice and easily shift forward into the knees setting up now for our next yin posture known as the deer pose so for deer you're going to bring your right shin forward so your right shin is flush with the top of your yoga mat and then your left knee and your left shin is lined up with the left side of your mat the chest is facing forward here and then you're just going to begin to drape your torso out over your front right leg so you can imagine right now it's real popular these heavy blankets that people sleep with something that triggers a, a deep memory of when we were in the womb and there was a constant weight and positive pressure on us and so you can imagine your torso is like one of those heavy heavy blankets now just draping out over that right knee right shin i always recommend that if you have the opportunity to practice yin yoga the most optimal time is right before going to bed although you can justify doing it at other times of the day and I've tracked, tracked my heart rate, body temperature, other important sleep metrics. And every time I do yin right before going to bed, my sleep quality is always greatly enhanced from doing this practice. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone you know, especially the ones that struggle with good quality sleep to get on the yin yoga train and start doing this stuff before going to bed and chances are it will work work wonders A few more breaths there in the deer pose. Now as you guys go ahead and slowly exit up and out. Now, from deer pose, you're going to lean into the right hip and swing the left leg around and over top the right leg, setting up for shoelace pose. 
I'm going to come forward onto the knee so I can get the left leg nice and snug over the right and then sit back either onto a block or all the way down onto the ground. Now take your left hand and reach it over towards the left. Take the right arm and just begin to reach it up and over so you come into a little side bend variation of shoelace pose. Since this is a full body yin routine, we also want to make sure that we get into the lateral tissues that run along the sides of the torso. So tissues underneath the lat muscle and the intercostals and the quadratus lumborum. Just making sure in a positive way all these areas are nice and malleable and supple qualities of being youthful something that we lose as we age unless we have a practice like this for a lot of people as they age the body begins to come more and more tight more and more rigid and then that creates that that domino effect that eventually leads to atrophy and deterioration of the connective tissues which are like the scaffolding of the whole entire body so when that begins to deteriorate then the aging process is greatly accelerated which is why we often call this the fountain of youth practice because it slows down and in some cases even reverses the aging process come all the way back up and then go ahead and fold over and down to a traditional shoelace hands can be out in front of you or you could rest the hands in her arches of the feet wherever it feels right for you Nice and easily begin to exit out of that one. Uncross the legs, knees to the sky, feet flat on the ground, and then windshield wiper the knees side to side. Beautiful. Now, deer pose on the other side. So this time, left leg comes forward. Right shin over towards the right side of the mat. Get your props. And to begin to allow the torso now to drape out over that front. Left leg, left shin. As we continue the art and the practice of simply letting go, letting go of tension, letting go of stress. There was a monk who was giving a special talk, a special Dharma talk on the importance of letting go. And the next day, one of the younger monks came to see him and expressed his, his inability to let go. 
and how difficult it was. So the wise teacher invited the young student to sit down and to have a cup of tea. And so he instructed the student to get a cup. And then he poured a, a boiling hot cup of tea for the student. And he asked the student to pick it up. And as the student picked up the cup, his hand began to burn. And the teacher instructed him to not let it go, to keep holding on and holding on. And as much as the student tried, eventually he couldn't hold it any longer. It was burning his hand, so he dropped the cup, shattering it into many pieces. And the teacher said, you see, it's not so hard to let go, is it? Many people, in the same way as you, hold on to that hot cup, the scalding hot cup of their own suffering, manifested through anger, resentment, jealousy, negativity, and yet they continue to allow themselves to be scorched, to be burned day after day, year after year. So in the same way that you drop the cup, you too can let go of anything that you choose. It's always your choice. So in this practice and in this moment, in this pose, what is it that you're holding on to that's scorching you that you too can let go? And then perhaps live with a greater and more free heart and peaceful mind. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Ah, lean into that left hip and swing that right leg all the way around, crossing it over top the left. If it's helpful for you, come forward onto the hands, get your legs nice and snug, and then sit back onto a prop or all the way down onto the floor. This time we'll take the right hand, reach it over to the right, and the left arm will come all the way up and over. Side bend stretch, or what we call spinal flexion. One last little reach there. Come all the way back up and then fold out over top those legs. Again, just yielding and melting to gravity. is one of those poses that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with. I think that the hate just comes from the pose exposing areas in the body that have gotten tense and tight. 
but the love just comes from knowing that it's kind of that that tough love that's what the pose is supposed to do it's supposed to illuminate areas in the body that just need more affection more care and how amazing how good the body feels after doing the pose holding the stretch and then again if you're doing this at nighttime being able to slide into bed without bringing that unnecessary tension with you for the next eight hours or so begin to exit out of that one bring the hands onto the ground behind you extend the legs straight out in front of you allowing the blood the chi to rush down through the hips the knees all the way down into the ankles and the feet and now set up for a caterpillar pose both arms come up on the inhale as you're ready lift up then on the exhale, just begin to fold over and down to your own degree. So for me, I'm going to place a block underneath my, my head just to support the weight of the head. If you were less mobile, you could use a couple blocks and stack those on top of each other. And then as you come into Caterpillar, just allow yourself to relax into it so you're not gripping. You're not creating an, an armor of musculature. You're softening the muscles so that you can access the fascia underneath it.
that's it for that one slowly begin to roll your way all the way back up and then go ahead and come down onto your back recline left leg extends out towards straight on the floor right knee hugs in Take the right arm, reach it out to the right with your left hand on your outer right knee. Bring the right knee over to the left and you could always prop it up with support. Or you can let it come down towards the floor. Stay here in this twist or cat pulling its tail is an option as you bend the left foot in and reach down and grab the left foot with your right hand and then draw your right shoulder blade down towards the mat, finding that stretch through the spine, the left thigh, the right chest and the right shoulder. you have your left foot give that one last little tug and then release the left leg back towards straight bring the right knee all the way back up to neutral and then we'll segue into the other side so left knee in right leg extends out open the left arm out to the left take the left knee all the way over to the right And then cat pulling its tail as an option for you. you can reach down and grab that right foot with that left hand. You have the right foot nice and easily release the right leg back towards straight roll back on to the back and then slide right into corpse pose shavasana so we take a last last couple of minutes here 
to absorb what we just moved through. Shavasana. A deeper inhale through the nose, out the mouth, let it go. Bring the knees, the thighs back into the belly, and then either roll over onto one side or gently rock and roll your way up to a last final seat where we'll seal the practice. Both hands up to prayer position backs of the thumbs to the center of the forehead for clarity of mind fingers to the mouth for thoughtfulness of speech and then hands back to the heart for consistency of action allowing your yoga to shine through all that you think all that you say and all that you do much health much wealth and much love to you namaste all right, you guys, I hope you enjoy that one. I know that I did, definitely needed that. Thank you for slowing down with me and moving through that full body deep stretch. Check out that Inner Dimension TV. Again, those programs, Flexibility and Beyond, Sleep Well series, you can do a 10 day free trial. That link is down below. Drop me a comment and let me know how your yin yoga practice was. And until next time, I'll see you then, be well. Mm -hmm.